Cape Coral homeowners. It's that time again. We're going to go over the Cape Coral real estate market report here for July 24th, 2022. We're going to break down all the numbers. There's a lot going on. And so let's just jump right on in and go over all the details. So as of today, currently there are 870 homes pending for sale in the whole city, leaving 1,360 listings that are still for sale. That's going to result in a pending ratio of 39%. So that means that the market is still mildly active. And if you take a closer look, it means that the bulk of the, the homes that have received contracts are between 200 and 400,000. And we also notice that between 400 and 600,000 is the price range that has a relatively large number of inventory, meaning properties that are still for sale. There's still 530 listings. Uh, that fall in that category and the medium price, the median listing price is 539.9. So that number is making a curve. It is making an adjustment, but we're still seeing a lot of really good strong offers. And what that boils down to you is, is that there's going to be an adjustment of sellers becoming a little more realistic with the price they ask and buyers realizing that there really is an increase in value over the last few months still even when everybody's talking about the R word, the recession word is all around. And what we know is with the exception of two of the last six recessions, every other recession period, we had an increase still in home prices. The one back in the 90s was a 2% drop in market share. And then the one in 2008, we all know what that happened and felt like, and that was over 21% drop in home equity and of course we all know why is because the housing industry was the culprit behind everything loose lending practices and really just shady practices overall as far as appraisals real estate people being involved in it without disclosing it the list goes on and on i don't have to recount everything that happened you guys probably have all been through that and if not let me know personally i'll be able to give you all the gory details because we were all doing the business in that time as well but what you need to know is that this time is not like last time. Lending restrictions are still very strict. The, the appraisal guidelines are still very, very much strict. And a matter of fact, they've actually gotten worse here in the last few months just to keep things, everything, to keep everything above board. So what that means to you is, is that the, the overall median sold price in here in Cape Coral, if you look at the trailing average of the last six months, that's almost 440,000. We this last last period, we saw that dip down again closer to about $435,000. Now, if you remember, we started in February of that trailing 6 months at 400,000. We peaked at 460 and we're still right now at around around 439. Your days on market are going up. You're seeing it on the news, but it's not a bloodbath like everybody's talking about on the news. We're at 9 possibly even 10 days on market right now for the well-priced inventory that's on our on our books to be sold right now. And what that means to you is that those that are over 10 days on market usually means there's a price correction that's about to happen or needs to happen. And maybe, just maybe, that price might come down. Don't guarantee it, don't count on it, but it may happen. Now, if you look at the last bit of this, you'll see as well, if you're following along in the, the handout that we've got, that you'll see the price breakdown of everything going on. Anything 400,000 and less, we're at about 1.2 months worth of supply. And we're still seeing 100 to 101% of ask price is what it closes at. The average price in the three, uh, 200 to $400,000 category right now, average price is at 328, 539, median at 335 even. If you go into 400 to 600, you see it jumps up to 2.6 months worth of inventory, meaning there's more homes available for sale. And again, the average price of home selling in that price category of 477, 495, and the median at 467. Now, if we jump up into the 800 to a million, 800,000 to a million, you're going to notice something. That median price still is at 875 still very strong for this market but what you will notice is that the days on market go up meaning there's 34 or sorry 3.4 months worth of inventory and the list to sale price in dollars 
is now at 98%, meaning the buyers actually got a 2% discount off of the list price. It's the first time we're starting to see that in really almost the last two, two and a half years in this market. There's still plenty of inventory around. There's plenty of opportunities, but we also notice then, of course, with the interest rates draw, uh, drawing upward, that that means that the market pauses. The buyers take a step back. They say, okay, what's going on? They have to readjust, reapprove, and reset their sights on what kind of home and what price range of a home they're looking at. So the first key thing that you always need to look at when you're looking at these reports is one, where's the market at and where is it going? This gives you one of the most accurate and up-to-date promises uh, as far as what is actually the current pulse of the market as of just yesterday. And what you'll notice here also is that it's broken down into specific groups and pricing categories because one size does not fit all. We have over eight different types of homes, categories of homes here in Cape Coral. So a one size fits all approach that the MLS gives you each and every month, one, it's 30 plus days old when you get the information and two, you're lumping yourself in with every other category of homes here in the market. So if you follow us on YouTube, if you're seeing this on YouTube, like and subscribe and then you can also go to a link, I'll put it above here. And that way you'll be able to get into a lot of the other market reports that we do for each of the different subcategories of Cape Coral. We go through all the waterfront properties here in Cape Coral and we also cover the city of Naples. I'm John Ray with the EXP Realty and the Ray Group and you're watching Cape Coral Living. Thank you so much for checking this out. If you have any information that you need specifically, you can enter a comment below, we'll respond there or send us a DM, a text message, email or give us a call, it's what we like best of all. Thanks so much for watching and if you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button below and the little bell icon will be sure to give you an update as soon as the new information drops. Thanks again.